Hi, I'm Matt from Parkshaw. As mentioned in my previous YouTube videos, I'm going to hopefully answer the most common questions asked in my industry. My industry being the park home, mobile home, holiday lodge, static caravan and holiday leisure industry. So if you're in that industry or interested in that lifestyle, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, one of the most asked questions in my industry is how much is a park home survey? Now, at the time of this video, it costs approximately 350 to 450 pounds for a survey of your park home. But hang on, before you leave, I think that's it. And I've created the shortest YouTube video in history, short and straight to the point. There is some advice you should really listen to before you leave. The cost really depends on the location of your home in relation to the office of the surveyor. It costs, obviously, more further he has to travel. Thus, the further you are away from him, the more you'll pay in costs. It makes sense, therefore, to try and get a surveyor in your local area, but therein lies the problem. As park homes are specifically manufactured, you need to get a surveyor who is familiar with all the specific perils, risks and potential defects associated with park homes, and park home surveyors are few and far between. You shouldn't use a normal surveyor who is not familiar with park homes, as they might miss something important. One such park home surveyor who we met at the Stony Show is Matt Gibbs from Clearview Park Home Surveyors Limited, whose details are put up in the link below. We haven't used him ourselves, so you'll have to make up your own mind, but we have heard he's very good. Uh, one of the other questions, probably the main question linked to how much is a park home survey, is do I need a park home survey if I'm buying a park home? Now, I believe I already answered this in my previous video of buying a park home. Again, I'll put the link in the details below. The answer is yes, get a survey. You don't know enough about park homes to know what might possibly go wrong. You might not be physically able to get under the home to check the surface pitch, the concrete raft or, or base your home is on. And um, why would you want to anyway? Get a professional in to check the home is okay and sited correctly on the pitch. Get them to check the concrete's not cracked or subsiding and that the home isn't sited on the grass and slowly sinking into the ground. And we've had all of those, trust me. This is likely to be your biggest purchase, so why wouldn't you get a survey carried out? You might think by not getting the survey you'll be saving money, which is true, but that could prove wrong and more expensive in the long run. Go into the park home lifestyle with your eyes open. If he picks or she, if he or she picks anything up, you can then make an informed decision whether to go ahead with the purchase or pull out. Or you could use what you've learned to try and get the price reduced or get the seller to fix the problem before the sale. At least you know of any problems going forward. And that's it. Getting a survey is money well spent as far as I'm concerned. Don't forget, of course, insurance normally excludes pre-existing conditions. So if you go in blind, you may find yourself not insured for that peril and paying for something the previous owner should have fixed long before you even bought the home. And in a situation where the surveyor doesn't find anything wrong, he's just reinforcing the fact you made a good decision in buying the home. And don't forget, once you bought the home, to give us a ring to insure it. And that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss more exciting news about insurance, if there is such a thing. And if anybody has anything to add, please leave it in the comments section below. I'm always up to learning something new or being corrected if I'm wrong. Call us to discuss this or to obtain an insurance quotation on free phone number 0800 731 9583 or visit us at parkshaw.com. And not forgetting, keep an eye out for more Parkshaw top tips in the near future. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss more exciting YouTube content from me. And if you're interested, it's chili plants, by the way. Someone suggested I need to actually spruce up my office. So you've got my son dressed as Yoda, Yoda baby, or baby Yoda. And chili plants, which I'm trying to grow for spice things up. Okay, see you soon. Bye.